Hi guys, welcome back to That's Chatty with me, Gemma Hepworth. Um, that was just Will and Ben there, the madness of the big tiny. Uh, they've gone now, but please do follow them online. Of course, they've got a YouTube page, it's the big tiny, and there's lots of fun stuff going on there. We'll get them back in for Manchester Pride as well. They've got some puppets up their sleeve for Pride. So guys, um, let me think about, I was gonna tell you about uh, GM Fringe. It's just finished, 150 shows. Wow, 150 shows across one month in Manchester, which is epic, rivaling Edinburgh now. It's all kicking off. So have a look on at Gemma Hairport at That's Manchester on Twitter for links. And it's also at GM Fringe. You'll see everything that happened there. We had the closing party earlier this week. There was the awards going out for best actor, best drama, best comedy. It was a wonderful fringe. So roll on next year's and obviously all the guests coming on as you've seen. So if you do have any theatre recommendations in Manchester or shout outs or music gigs you're recommending, give me a line on Twitter, it's at Gemma Hep, and of course we'll, we'll mention it, we'll hopefully even get you in as a guest as well. So before I introduce today's guest, I just want you to say keep supporting local comedy and local theatre and local music. We're in August already, I can't believe it. I say this all the time, but this year's flying. So please look around, summer's happening, there's loads happening across Manchester city centre of course and on the outskirts. So I hope you're enjoying the summer holidays. Now my next guest is Sadie Pickering from the Choose Life Yoga Mat campaign. So here to tell us all about it is Sadie herself. So Hello. Sadie, welcome. Hi. Good to see you. Good so to see you. I've, I've obviously heard so much about this project online and the crowdfunder page and everything, but I, I wanted to bring you in because I wanted to find out a bit more what it's all about. So tell us a bit of background about the project. Well, it's really exciting. It's a really personal project to us as a family and um, we only launched it last night, but it's a long time that we've been planning it getting it together, talking to the two different charities. Yeah. So basically, it's an eco-ethical yoga mat. Um, the mat is completely 100% natural rubber. The ink is organic ink, water-based wow. ink, so it's totally sustainable. But the, um, the idea behind the project is that we've put the Choose Life iconic logo that Catherine Hamnett of created. Of course, I saw that, that, yeah. Yeah, that George Michael wore in the Wham video. It's very We've got a well picture known. actually oh, okay. um, of the mat, um, which is, is great. And it, it, it's that visual and everyone's talking about this logo at the moment. It's a really strong it's logo. It's so popular and current, isn't it? With well, everything. she was the one that created the Choose Love logo as well. Yes. So that's obviously been seen a lot yeah. at the moment. Yeah. Um, and uh, cancel oh, wow. Brexit as well. So she's... She's an amazing, inspirational fashion designer and we're very lucky that we were able to approach her and that she actually gifted us the logo. Really? Yeah. Futurity. She knows she knows our family. She's very so she's just supportive of it. She knows the reasons behind it, why yeah. we're doing it. And um, so all the profits from the mat will yeah. be going to action on action on addiction yes. and mind. For, and mental oh, health and addiction. Brilliant. Which often now connected. obviously you did mention it's subject close to your heart with your family and you've experienced a lot of this and we've had um, a program um, with guests talking about addiction before drug addiction and alcohol addiction so it's very uh, close to us and we do a lot of fundraising in that area and of course uh, we do the homeless fundraising but we also do the addiction fundraising and just tell us a bit more about that if you would about kind of your experience as a family with that it's really hard it's really hard for the person who's obviously the addict um, but it's also hard for the family and you often feel quite helpless um, exactly yeah. and I think it's 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 very complicated everybody's different but um, definitely in our situation um, yoga has helped yeah the member of my family that's struggled yeah. and I've seen it I've got a number of friends that have gone through similar things and it's amazing to see how Yoga gives you a sense of routine, space to just be you, mm. to ground. It's um, it gets you back into your body and calms your mind. So yeah. it's it's um, it's a choice as well, and that's yeah. why the choose life. Do you logo. know what I was just about to say? The choose life really links nicely yeah. because it's a strong oh, logo to see goodness. when you're practicing yoga, and. Um, so the, it, the whole project just kind of made sense. It kind of yeah. came like one of those ideas. Yeah. And then it's taken some time to put together and like I said, contact the charities and 
Um, yeah, it's just really exciting. Brilliant. It launched last night. We've already had pledges. Yeah. Just so. to take you back to that whole addiction thing, you know, when you say it's a choice, I think that is such a word that is, that choice word is so vital in recovery. Um, I have a friend who's in recovery at the moment and I was invited along to a meeting, the AA meeting. And for me, it, I didn't go with any research, I didn't go with any kind of agenda. Uh, I went as me to, to, to be supportive. And I think that word, the choice is, it's your choice, it's your life. And yeah. it is so vital that that support network is in place, isn't it? Yeah, because that choice, it's very easy to make the good choice yeah. or the bad choice. Yeah. And the more support that you have, the more you're swayed to kind yeah. of making the right choice. It is, it's unbelievable. And it's a day by day thing. Oh goodness, it is baby steps, isn't it, essentially? Yeah. I mean, without being too cliche, it is the baby steps. And and what I loved about when I went to that group, and obviously it's an anonymous, anonymous group, they're all over, they're happening all the time in Manchester, in the region, in the country, in the world. But what I loved is that, that kind of family unit that you had created, yeah. uh, they had created, and, and, and how open everyone felt and comfortable and, and, and how talking is so important. So important. To talk to loved ones as yeah. well. And that's where with the AA there's also Al-Anon, which is for the families yes, too. Yes, so of course. Everyone's part of the problem when there's, yeah. you know, we, we all have to work on ourselves to help yeah. the situation. It's not just the, um, the addict that has to, to go through that. I think it's really important. It, that oh. You know, hun, that that is is spot on, and I think for anyone watching who's either gone through it as a family member or they're going through it themselves, it, it'll be crucial for this kind of campaign to be out there. There's a lovely book actually I must mention uh, called "Take Care, Son" by Tony Husband, which is all about the family's point of view from his son's recovery, and it's a um, it's an illustrated book. He's a cartoonist, yeah. and um, it's a fantastic. Have you yeah, have you I've read it? Yes, yeah. brilliant, brilliant book. Uh, so you know the things are getting out there now we're talking more about it we, we are and you know I know there's a lot of attention being placed on children in schools um, and working on their mental health yeah I think it's really important to have that support network early definitely and for kids to be able to speak about it yeah so it is really good there's a lot happening you know on the way in on the radio it was on mental health was being talked about yeah so it is really good and I think the more that we can do the better definitely. and I just um, like that link between yoga and mental health and addiction. I think people which may not um, work for everybody, well, but I think no, exactly. It is a good like thing. you say, it's it, it's only positive, isn't it? Yeah. I think um, you're seeing a few shows at the Fringe this year in Manchester. Um, a lot of them were about mental health and addiction, and it can be quite raw if if you're an audience member in such an intimate space. Yeah. Um, but whether it's theatre, it's spoke about through whether it's a campaign like yours whether it's a AA group, whether it's family around a dinner table, I think it has to be that we can't just hold it in anymore. We have to talk about yeah. it all or somehow the conversation has to happen. Yeah. And it's wonderful. So this crowdfunding thing, yes. um, how do we find that? Where is it online? So it's on, on crowdfunded.co.uk. Right. And it's the Choose Life Map project. Yes. Basically, we're fundraising to produce 500 maps. Right. Um, so once the campaign ends, then the mats will go into production and yeah. then people will be able to get them. Um, so the campaign launched last night, it's running for eight weeks, and then it'll take about six to eight weeks to get them out. I've mat. already seen you've raised so much overnight. Overnight. In one night. Yeah. I clicked on it early, I was like, wow. So it's a really nice Christmas present idea because yeah. it'll arrive in time. Um, you can So you purchase your mat and you get a bag. With choose life on Brilliant. it can we um, just uh, we'll show the mat again actually we've got the lovely photographs we'll use them um but what what's interesting is if i say wanted to go on the crowdfunder and click on it and i donated what would that get me so you could choose you could donate any amount of money yeah just as a donation yeah um which we've had already which is really really generous and yeah. kind of people um but you could also you could buy, there's a £15 pledge, which is for some mala beads, which are like oh, meditation beads. Brilliant. So that's kind of one reward. Or you could pay 
59 which would get you a mat and a bag oh fantastic and we've ah. also done an option for people overseas as well wonderful which includes the postage and everything. that's so good well i'll share away on my social media Thank and you. you know i'll tell my friends in the theater industry and then you guys at home get checking it out on crowdfunder i mean we've got the link is it through your you've got twitter facebook instagram yeah it's all at choose life mat at Choose Life Math, so hit up there, guys. The other thing that people the... could do at the moment, which would help get the word around, in our campaign video, if, if you watch it right at the end, on our hands we've written Choose and Life. So if, if they do a Choose Life selfie and tag us, that would be amazing. Oh, super! So you've got a tag going on as yeah, well. Yeah, really hashtag simple. away. Really simple, oh, easy way to kind of get yeah, the message around. Get there. Oh, that's great. Well, what I'll do is I'll be on a mission to get that for you now. Every Thank interview you. I go to in town, I'm like, guys, I need you to do something. Yeah, please. <laughs> I will. Oh, my goodness, you'll be spammed to death. Um, so, guys, get doing that. It's, it's fun, if anything else, as well, isn't it? And it gets awareness of the campaign. And, yes, guys, oh, my goodness, what a project. I'd heard about it through Simon Pickering, a friend of mine who's in my acting class. And it just shows you how small a network yeah. Manchester community is yeah. and how supportive everyone is because Simon said nothing but positive things. Aww. So Sadie, thank you for coming in. You've thank been you. fabulous and we'll check it out online and we'll get put in Choose Life on yes. <laughs> Okay guys, so thank you very much. What a wonderful show. Thanks to the big tiny and thanks of course to Sadie Pickering and I'll see you next week. Bye bye.